everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Thirsty Dog Wolver, but this is no ordinary bottle of Wolver. No, 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 this is from 2013. That's right, so I've had this bad boy sitting down in my cellar for two whole years now. I've actually never had Wolver aged, I've just had it fresh, and that beer is awesome, awesome stuff. So you guys probably know by now, this is a beer they specifically make to go into barrels. There is no base beer, so to speak, and it's aged in bourbon barrels for 11 months. So really looking forward to checking this one out. I figured, what the hell, it's been two years since I reviewed this one as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh man, wow, the bourbon is still hugely present in this, wow. Yeah, it's like this big, rich, sweet bourbon, but it doesn't have a hint of alcohol. There's no booziness, no nothing going on, but this really big bourbon, definitely getting a lot of vanilla too. Getting some oak kind of underneath that, and there's a lot of dark fruits. It kind of smells like plums, raisins, like, uh, like bourbon-soaked figs in there. Definitely some caramel, some caramel, some really rich toffee in there. But yeah, big barrel, big bourbon, dark fruits. For the most part, it smells like I remember Wolver smelling, but maybe with a bit more smoothness to it. Let's go ahead, take our first sip. Oh man, wow, that is so good. Up front, I was hit with this big, rich vanilla character, almost verging into like this toasted coconut character. Definitely getting some oakiness, not really tannic, but I'm definitely getting a lot of the barrel. And then right afterwards, I get a big punch of bourbon. The bourbon very, very present still in this beer, which is awesome. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Second sip, I'm getting more of these really big dark fruit notes, plums, raisins, dates, figs, just really, really rich. After that, followed by these caramelized notes, almost like a bit of molasses in there, definitely some toffee and caramel. Really, really nice. Finishes with this kind of cross between the dark fruits, the bourbon, and this really rich vanilla. As it lingers, it's just really, really nice, too. Still a decent bit of dryness on the back end. And there is a touch of alcohol warmth as it goes down, but it's not boozy. For 12%, this is actually very, very smooth. Yeah, this is very, very well. I mean, this is drinking great right now. And again, it reminds me a lot of how Wolver originally tasted, but... It's got this extra smoothness. The bourbon's kind of smoothed out. It's not quite as hot as it was, you know, when I've had it fresh. And then the big dark fruit notes are definitely a lot more present. And there's just a really great balance to every single thing in here. Now, it is a tad thin. It's not watery or anything, but it's definitely on, it's, it's like a medium body, so it's not real heavy. It's not real thick. Barrel aging tends to do that, though. It's got a very coating mouthfeel, though. It's slightly creamy, which I really like. And yeah, this one is dangerously easy to drink. Mm. Yeah, this is awesome. Nothing against Fresh Wolver. As a matter of fact, that beer is awesome, awesome stuff too. But this just has the added complexity, added smoothness of two years. And I still have like four or five bottles down in the cellar. So yeah, looking forward to that. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with 9.7 out of 10. Dark fruits, vanilla, oak. Bourbon, just this really nice richness, molasses, caramel, like dark toffee, just really, really easy to drink, smooth. It's a sipper, for sure, but it is damn, damn good. If you guys have a bottle of this, or if you have not had a chance to check it out, you need to do so. Alright guys, that does for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.